Ferguson Education News When applying for a student visa, subclass 500, for Australia, you are required to submit a personal statement in English addressing the Genuine Temporary Entrant GTE, requirement. The statement should affirm that your purpose for coming to Australia is solely for studying and not for any other reasons, and that you will adhere to the visa's time limitations without overstaying. The GTE requirement is specific to your student visa application, but depending on your studies, you may also be eligible for a post-study work rights visa, subclass 485, or even permanent residency if you possess the skills Australia needs. As of November 2022, the word limit for the GTE statement has been changed to 300 words, or 2,000 characters. You are advised to provide supporting evidence and documents in your IMI account, such as academic transcripts, certificates, information about previous education providers, explanations for study gaps, details of past or current employment, including employer contact information, proof of income, potential job offers after completing your course, and reasons why you intend to return to your home country after your time in Australia. Thanks for watching. Ferguson Education News, like and subscribe.